This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome to today's ISS update. It is Monday, March 4th, 2013. The crew of Expedition 34 on board the station is uh, busy working on quite a bit of transfer work today. Of course, the big news is that the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft has arrived at the station. It launched last Friday at 10, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. That was 9, 10 a.m. Central Time. Dragon spent two days heading up to the International Space Station. It performed a rendezvous and docking with the uh, orbiting complex uh, yesterday, Sunday, at 4.31 a.m. Central Time. The crew of Expedition 34 was working uh, at a robotics workstation down in the cupola to take a look at Dragon as it closed in. They had control of the station's 58-foot-long robotic arm as they got ready to reach out and grab onto Dragon. The actual installation, which was a ground command, took place at 8.56 a.m. Eastern, and then the crew opened up the hatches of Dragon uh, just a few hours later at 1.14 p.m. Eastern Time. Dragon is uh, bringing up 1,268 pounds of supplies and uh, science operations to the crew. It's going to be taking home 2,668 pounds of supplies. But the crew has been busy all day today, and they will continue working over the next several days, getting everything unloaded uh, out of this cargo craft. Kevin Ford, the commander of Expedition 34, called down, giving an update. They have finished uh, moving the glaciers. There were two glacier freezers flown up to the station, one that was powered and uh, was full of science. It'll be packed full of return items and stored back on to uh, Dragon at the conclusion of the mission. There was an unpowered glacier that was also flown up that will simply be stored uh, aboard the International Space Station. Also quite a bit of uh, cold bags. These are just basically sample bags that are used to put uh, scientific experiments into and uh, return back to Earth. We're also going to be setting up uh, one of the experiments that flew up to Dragon. That's going to be taking place uh, during the uh, almost three weeks the Dragon will be docked to the International Space Station. One of the experiments that uh, is being flown up there is what's called the coarsening and solid liquid mixtures number three. This is a materials science investigation that will take place while Dragon is docked to the station. It takes a look at uh, the uh, growth and solidification processes in lead, tin, and solid mi liquid mixtures that contain a small amount of what's uh, called tin branch-like or dendritic structures, or dendrites. What this will do is help uh, ground operations as they make different types of metals and higher quality products as they study the differences between what you see in microgravity versus what happens on the ground. So that is CSLM number three. They're going to get that set up later on this afternoon and that experiment will run for about 20 days while Dragon is docked to the International Space Station. Of course, to read more about CSLM number three or the rest of the science that Dragon has brought up or any of the other Expedition 34 operations, just log on to the NASA website at nasa.gov slash station and take a look at research and technology. While the crew is busy working on Dragon, they are also, half of them, getting ready to come home, coming up in a little more than a week and a half. Kevin Ford, Oleg Novitsky, and Evgeny Tarelkin getting close to wrapping up, uh, close to six months on board the International Space Station. Their undocking will take place on March 14th at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. That'll be 6.30 a.m. on March 15th there in Kazakhstan, which is the uh, place where they will land. Their Soyuz will undock. It is the Soyuz TMA-06M. It will undock at 7.30 p.m. Central Time with a deorbit burn at 10.04 p.m. Central Time. And then landing will take place at 10.57 p.m. Central Time. Again, that will be the next day in Kazakhstan, March 15th. Those times will be 9.04 a.m. Kazakhstan time for the deorbit burn and 9.57 a.m. Kazakhstan time for the Soyuz landing.